Spoiler alert, but this is all the dirt washed out of the seats from just 20 minutes of cleaning. Keep watching if you want to see how I did it. All right, today I'm going to go through a little bit of a seat cleaning technique that I've started using, using this interior multi-purpose from Turtle Wax, a regular handheld dust buster or shop vac, and the best weapon, which is a wet vac. I'm going to be walking through a clean of the front seats here in the Tundra. I know that the rest of the car is a mess, but this is kind of where I'm starting at for the inside. If you're not going to use a wet vac, you can still do a pretty good seat cleaning just with a regular vacuum or shop vac and this stuff from Turtle Wax. This stuff is going to work its way into the seat. You can use a brush here to kind of clean some of the dirt out. But the biggest thing is it helps eliminate odor. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is to grab your vacuum and just get all the big dirt, maybe pet hair if you can, all the stuff out of these seats. This particular vacuum isn't great, but if you have a shop vac, that'll work pretty good too. The next thing you want to do is grab your Turtle Wax interior cleaner. This right here is a detachable scrub brush, so you can take that off. And basically you shake this up and spray it over one surface at a time and scrub it all in. If you have any extra, you can wipe it off or vacuum it off. Also, if you have really deep stains, you want to let this sit for about a minute before you start scrubbing it in. It's also a good idea to keep a microfiber towel with you just in case you have some overspray on some surfaces you don't want it on. Although it's not gonna hurt anything. And you can see that your scrub brush is gonna pick up a lot of that dirt that's stuck in the seats. Now we're all done with this very dirty brush. The next step will be to vacuum it again, unless you have a wet vac, in which case go ahead and break it out and you're gonna see just how much dirt you've got in your seats. If you've never seen a wet vac before while you're vacuuming with this head right here, it's also gonna be spraying water out that kind of penetrates the surface and cleans as you drag the brush across. You've got a clean water tank right here and then all the dirty water is gonna show up here in this tank. This one is specifically marketed for removing pet stains around the house, but it works great in vehicles. You can add a few different cleaning solutions to this fresh water tank right here to give it a little extra boost if you want. But since we already used the Turtle Wax product on both seats already, we're good to go with the wet vac. So right here you can see the water coming out. And as you vacuum, it sucks all the dirt and the water up with it. After your first run over it, go ahead and go over it again because it's still going to be a little bit wet. You may need to go over it a few times to get all the water sucked out. And after you're all done, let the car dry for a few hours with the windows open. done and I went ahead and did the headrest too off camera before I show the end results of the water collected just know that this vacuum isn't perfect there's still a lot of stuff left in the seats I did this all in about 20 minutes um, so it didn't pick up a lot of dog hair you can see a lot of that on this seat right here but the biggest thing is that it got a lot of dirt from the last hundred thousand miles out of the seats and here is the final product all of that nasty water pulled out of these seats just the front seats. I pull just as much out of the back seats. So if you go do this on your own, good luck. Hopefully you get just as much out of this. Highly recommend a wet back so you can get all this dirt out. And the seats already smell a lot better.